Another one, Barca does, and has been official. The Chicago Bulls has been eliminated from the 2013 NBA playoffs in a second round versus the Miami Heat in Game 5. It's kind of sad, but what can you do? I really hopefully the Bulls make some wheeling dealing in the offseason. If not, they will be in the same predicament next season, I guarantee. I shouldn't really say that. And another thing is, the Bulls have been banged up this whole entire season. Nate Robinson really step it up in this whole season. But in this playoff round, in the second round, he hardly did nothing. Especially in the game four. I mentioned that in my last podcast. I was very, very uh, mad. But it's just a game. I'm not going to take this game any seriously at all. I did in the past. And those days are completely over. I don't get paid to watch the game. No way in hell. What about you viewers? Do you feel the same way? Now, once again, about this Derrick Rose. He did not play. At least he has an easy paycheck. This whole entire season plus the playoff. He was sitting on his damn ass. I don't know what's going on with him. Hopefully, we'll give you more information when it's up and running. Whenever they release the news about Derrick Rose. I think he didn't want to play since the injury. It really makes me mad. But whatever. What can you do, Bulls fans? What can you do? Now I am going to discuss about tonight. Game 5 victory. Miami Heat versus the Chicago Bulls. Okay, first quarter. The Miami Heat just kicked the Bulls ass. 30-21. to 21, And it was very, very bad. Pathetic on the Bulls part. Okay, second quarter. Bulls did a little better. 32 to 17 and I thought it'd be a good game and it was towards the end but I'll get that in a minute third quarter uh, Bulls scored more points 24 to 22 barely and the fourth quarter the nail in the coffin the mommy heat scored more points 25 to 14 so the final score was uh, 94 to 91 Miami Heat so they won in five games. Four games to one in the second round of the best of seven series. So the Heat are moving on. Back to back Easter Conference round. They will play the winner of the Pacers versus the Knicks. I don't know who I'm going to root for. Maybe I'll go for the Pacers because I live in Indiana. I hate the Pacers. Um... And I'm not a Knicks fan. Um, I know Knicks and Pacers have a heating rivalry back in uh, Reggie Miller era and the Ewing era. And this will be a huge upset because um, Pacers are 6th seed and the Knicks are 2nd seed. And um, if this goes to 7, um, Miami Heat will have a lot of rest. I think. The Heat or the players wants a game seven, but we'll find out. I think the NBA wants a game seven. One of the games will go to game seven before they go to the conference finals. Okay, now I want to discuss about top performances. First, I want to discuss about the Chicago Bulls player, Carlos Boozer. Bo- sorry, Carlos Boozer. Had 26 big ones. Wow, he's a beast in this game. 14 points, 1 assist, 2 steals, 1 block, but was not enough. Okay, from Miami Heat player, LeBron James, King James, whatever you want to call him. 23 freaking big ones, 7 rebounds, 8 assists, yes, 8 assists, and 2 steals. So technically, Boozer outscored LeBron James, plus more rebounds, but um, LeBron James had more assists than Boozer. But um, Boozer had one block, 
LeBron James has Zippo. Okay. Uh, team status comparisons. Okay. Of course, the points. I'm not going to read every status because I don't think Emre gives a rat's ass. Um, from the field, it was 33 out of 75. A point four forty. That's kind of, I guess, is pathetic. Now, for my misad, it was 32 out of 70, point four forty four fifty seven. That's way better than Bulls. Okay, from three point range, 8 out of 19. Pathetic. Point 0.21. They shot too many threes. They always say, live by the three, die by the three. And look what happened in game five. Bulls eliminated. Okay. Okay, Miami six uh, twenty one point uh, two eighty six. So I guess Bulls did a little better than the three pointers. Um, rebounds, offense total fifteen out of forty. Bulls won that, and then Miami six thirty two pathetic assists fourteen. Bulls fourteen and the Miami twenty. Towers fourteen ten. Bulls got more steals. Um, this really hurt the Bulls. Um, Miami had 10. Bulls had 5. Blocks was even. 5-5. Five, five. Fast break points. Bulls had 4. Miami had 6. Okay, let's see here. Now, this is game leaders, like I said earlier. Boozer had 26 big ones. Boozer had 14 assists. I'm sorry, I wish he did. He had 14 rebounds. Nate Robinson has six assists. Steals have Jimmy Butler three steals, and Rip Hamilton two blocks. Wow, that's the first time I heard of, not heard of him, but that's the first time I am discussed about Rip Hamilton. Two blocks. Okay, now we're gonna switch gears about LeBron James. Now this is wow, this is crazy. LeBron James twenty three points. Uh, LeBron James, 7 rebounds. LeBron James again, 8 assists. And LeBron James, 2 steals. And the final guy, Chris Bars, 2 blocks. Wow, most of it was LeBron James in every category except the last one. Damn. I guess LeBron James is a ball hogger. Sorry, you love Miami Heat fans, but that's my opinion. I know he's a MVP and blah, 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 and that's it. Okay, now listen to this. Dwayne Wade, Heat, come alive in a fourth to eliminate Bulls. So, I was not really mad, but Bulls put up a dogfight. They play a lot better in game four. No doubt about it. So, um, what else they say here? Um, la, 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 la. But... This is a great rivalry, and I, I enjoy watching it, some of it. Okay, what else I see here? Okay, um, I try to go by the, um, um, shot chart, but I can't really um see who missing all that stuff. So this is, this is very um confusing. So, you know what I'm saying? This is very, very confusing sh stuff. So, ho hold on, everyone. I can't get the rest of it. Um, Yeah, Derrick Rose won MVP 2011. Seemed like forever, two years ago. Okay. Here it is. The elimination. In 2010, Cleveland... Eliminated in the first round, I think. Uh, two thousand, no, it was two thousand ten, two thousand eleven. Heat got eliminated in the first conference finals. Two thousand twelve, eliminated by the Sixers in the first round. I think that's for the opponents. And two thousand thirteen, eliminated by the Heat conference finals, semifinals. Probably said it wrong. The Bulls have eliminated. From the playoffs by Le LeBron James in the three of the 
Wait, hold on, hold on, everyone. Let me rephrase that. The Bulls have been eliminated from playoffs by LeBron James in three of the last four years, the last four seasons. That is pathetic. So, of course, LeBron James is the king of the NBA until someone knocks his team off the top of the mountain. It could be anyone. It could be the Pacers. It could be the Knicks. It could be Oklahoma. I know Oklahoma is on life support big time, like the Bulls were earlier, earlier tonight. Or it could be Memphis. I guarantee NBA fans or he fans, the Miami Heat will be back-to-back -back NBA champions for the first time in their franchise history. And yes, I will discuss um, the NBA Finals when it kicks off. So right now, I am all said and done with this uh, round. So thank you very much to listening about the Bulls versus the Heat. It was a great um, game. I saw some of it, not all of it, because I was kind of busy. So I'm not really mad because the Bulls was banged up this whole entire this whole entire season and even the playoffs. At least the Bulls got the first round. Maybe next year they move past um, the semifinals and get to the conference finals. But we will see. We will never know until next season will br will bring us what will, will come. The future will, what will the future bring us, you know? But that's about it. Thank you very much once again. And I'm out of here. Take care, my viewers. And enjoy the rest of the playoffs. My next um, podcast discussed about NBA will be the 2013 NBA Finals. It should be a good one. So take care, everyone. And I'm out of here. And yes, I will discuss every single game of the NBA Finals. If it goes to well, four games, five games, six games, or seven games, it doesn't freaking matter. I'll discuss it only on my podcast. Thanks again, and now I am signing off. Later, everyone. That champ is finally out of here. Later.